If you're fascinated about the Viking history as I am, then a visit to the museum in Bog is a must. On this episode of Across All Borders through Northern Europe on Rails, join me for a day trip to the Lofter Viking Museum in Bog. In 1981, a sensational discovery was made when a farmer found fragments of glass and rare ceramics on his field. After this, a full-scale excavation was made of the longest Viking Age longhouse. So you get the size of this house. It is 83 meters in length and 12 meters in width. When you enter this house, you are immediately taken back in time as the objects and the whole setting allows you to revisit what it felt like to live within the period of this chieftains. You smell the tar, you see the open fire, you see different objects that were used from back then. So in other words, it is a living museum. Let's talk about the area where this museum is located and other things you can experience when you visit the museum. From the long house, you have a 10 to 15 minutes walk down to the sea where there is a boat house for long ships. Between May to September, you can help sail or row the ship. You may also want to try your hand at axe throwing archery and for kids riding the Nordland horses, which I actually saw some of them. Otherwise, between 15th June and 31st August, there are other activities such as the festival that you can engage in. During normal times, you are even able to enjoy a Viking feast, some singing, some music. And if you'd like to get more of the history, there is an exhibition where you can relive and view objects from back in that time. There is an audio guide provided for that. You just need to bring your mobile phone and your own headset. I don't know if that's changed now, but that was how it was when I visited. And another thing that you can do, of course, is purchase some stuff to eat or some items to take with you from the gift shop. So come along with me. Let's enjoy this experience. Så måste man kunna blockera. Ah. Och man kan nå vertikal och där horisontal bevägen. Okej. Okay. Kan jag gå nå? Kan jag bevägt nå en skritt? Mm -hmm. Alla andra, vi filer vi man vill. Ah, alltså klar. Okej. Så vem en hier hest, då då visst som jag. Wow. Och det kunde jag inte alltså. Nej. <lacht> Aber der König gehört nur den Weißen, oder wie? Ja, ja, ja. Ah, dann heißt man muss... Ja, das ist ein sehr Stockfisch, das kommt von... Das ist real life Stockfisch, wie sie es drehen. So, wenn ihr in euren Stockfisch you know wo es kommt von. Oma Naija, see stockfish in action. Pre-COVID, everything you see here you could actually try out, but because of COVID you have the restrictions that the ropes are right in front, so you can't touch any of it. So this was more like a living museum where you could literally try out the different things that Vikings used to do in the past. It's really cool because this house is huge, but it also represents how they used to live. Look at that four, so much four for the winter. And what I love here is also how you see what they've been eating. And for my Nigerian people, here you have your stockfish again. This is where it comes from. This is literally the stockfish country. So guys, this is Nefer Tafel, which is the Viking chess version. Uh, the difference between this and the regular chess is that nobody moves diagonally on this chess board. And also there is just one king belonging to the white team. In order to win, the king must go to one of the corners where you have the symbol, or um, the black team has to get rid of the king. And for them to do that, they must um, enclose him with four pieces. And otherwise, to get any other piece off the board, you enclose with two opposing pieces. So that's it. Nefertafel.
I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81.